first, it was reported that Ikari Gendu and Futsuki had begun their own plan, and the awakening of Unit 01 had instilled fear in Seal, finally making them realize the terror of Ikari Gendu. Unit 01, equipped with the S2 engine, theoretically cannot be controlled by humans, but it remained quiet and did not appear to try to break free from human control. In the anime, the growth of Unit 01 can be seen. In the first episode, it is clear that Unit 01 is rampaging, and its teeth are shown to be red. However, during the fight with the 14th Angel, its teeth had taken on a shape similar to human teeth. This symbolizes the growth of Unit 01, as humans are born without teeth and with only red gums, and then grow teeth that are white. Similarly, Unit 01 has grown to possess self-sufficient abilities and no longer depends on humans. However, like a newly grown child who does not want to leave their parents immediately, Unit 01 still does not intend to separate from humans. Regarding the 14th Angel incident, Ms. Otto was informed by members of NERV's Special Information Division that Vice Commander Futsuki had been kidnapped. Nerve security was strict, and it was discovered that a spy had infiltrated the information division and that Kaji Ryuji was manipulating them. He was the mastermind behind the kidnapping, and as a result, Katsuragi Mizato, who had close ties to Kaji Ryuji, became the subject of investigation. Of course, this mission was also dangerous for Kaji Ryuji, and he realized that he could not find hope by choosing either SEAL or NERV. Thus, Kaji Ryuji left behind a recorded message and decided to act in self-defense. Mizato cooperated by surrendering her gun and accepting the investigation by the Special Information Division. The order to arrest Futsuki undoubtedly came from SEAL's Chairman Kiel. After the 14th Angel incident, SEAL had completely lost trust in NERV. Despite being a subordinate organization of SEAL, NERV had actual combat power, so it was believed that NERV held real power. Futsuki was composed and said, It's been a while, Chairman Kiel. This is a shabby welcome. Chairman Kiel did not appear in person but instead spoke through a holographic sign with the number 01 written on it. Due to the loss of trust, they stopped meeting with NERV personnel and began using a special audio conference format. This is believed to be a shared memory among SEAL members, as this method of communication is used from the beginning in the new theatrical version. Chairman Keel says, I don't need to apologize to you. I just want to talk to you personally. That's a reasonable way to do it. During the meeting attended by everyone in SEAL, they agreed that they did not need to create a new god as they had gained absolute power by obtaining the S2 engine. SEAL did not need a specific god and did not completely trust handing over the godlike Unit 01 to that man, Ikari Gendu. However, what SEAL did not know was that Futsuki also held the same beliefs as Ikari Gendu. They were both fighting for their own ideals, so SEAL could not obtain information from Futsuki. During SEAL's break, someone suddenly infiltrated and quickly began removing Futsuki's handcuffs. Futsuki turned around and realized that the person who had removed his handcuffs was Kaji Ryuji, the planner behind his kidnapping. Futsuki warned Kaji that he would die if he did this. Kaji convinced himself that he only wanted to get closer to the truth. He believed that Seal would soon find out that he had given Adam's sample to Commander Akari, and that the outcome would be worse if he did not act in self-defense. Kaji Ryuji appeared to have chosen the path he recognized as a double agent. In any case, Kaji Ryuji still trusted Akari Gendu and had a reason to want to know the truth, as he did not know everything. The question remained whether helping Commander Akari was worth it. With the help of Kaji Ryuji, Vice Commander Futsuki safely escaped from SEAL. Mizato had her ID and gun returned to her through the investigation by the Information Division. Kaji Ryuji betrayed Seal and left a testament for Mizato, saying that he knew his fate and that this was his final mission. As expected, Kaji Ryuji was ultimately killed. When Mizato heard Kaji's message, tears flowed. This pain confused Shinji, who lived with her.
After Unit 01 obtained the S2 engine, the only EVAs that could be controlled were Unit 00 and Unit 02. However, at this point, the synchronization rate of Unit 02 had dropped significantly, and it was no longer possible to repair both EVAs simultaneously. Currently, repairing Unit 00 has priority. EVA repair is different from repairing regular robots, as it is repaired by cell division, making the EVA itself a living organism. Mizato always believed that the EVAs were a series derived from Adam and that if humanity did not use Adam, the cause of the second impact, they would not be able to defeat the angels. Even if their survival was at stake, they needed to use whatever means, even if it meant destroying themselves. What is being said here is similar to a virus, which can destroy humanity, but humanity needs to use the virus to create a vaccine for protection. Currently, construction of EVA Unit 13 is underway, and it is being built in seven different locations around the world. Everyone believes that the reason for the urgent production is that humanity has lost Units 4 and 3, and Units 00 and 02 are severely injured, and Unit 01, the only remaining unit, has lost the trust of humanity. Therefore, there is a need to strengthen their military power. Parts for Units 5 and 6 have been transported to Germany. SEAL is probably anxious about this. They believe that there is a possibility that multiple angels might attack simultaneously instead of acting alone. If that were to happen, humanity would not be able to cope. The construction of mass-produced EVAs is likely due to this reason, but it is still very mysterious. Mizato believes that they have other purposes. Asuka cannot reach Kaji on the phone anymore. She is very suspicious, but now, one month after Shinji was absorbed by Unit 01, it seems as if nothing happened between him and Ayanami. Asuka has finally given up. Is Shinji still Shinji? Even his bathwater disgusts her. She is bored with everything and her synchronization rate has further decreased only reaching the minimum threshold for activation. Ritsuko believes that she needs to adjust the core of Unit 02. Being killed by the 14th Angel dealt a huge blow to her self-esteem. Mizado also feels that the three of them cannot live together anymore. When Asuka is at her worst, the 15th Angel, Errol, approaches Earth's orbit. Strangely, the Angel remains in orbit and continues to float in space without attempting to land. Mizato speculates that the angel is either looking for a chance to land or does not need to land to destroy humanity. However, the problem is that if the 15th angel is out of nerves range, there is nothing they can do. They cannot send an EVA to satellite orbit to eliminate the angel. However, they cannot do nothing, so Mizato dispatches Unit 00 to prepare for long-range shooting. Unit 02 is also preparing to support Unit 00. As a result, Asuka feels neglected and decides to sortie on her own. If they fail, this may be Asuka's last sortie. Commander Akari has banned the use of Unit 01, so Mizato has no other options. Asuka is trying very hard to prove herself, but targeting the distant 15th Angel is very difficult. At that moment, suddenly, the 15th Angel enveloped Unit 02 in white light. Mizato initially thought it was a directed energy weapon, but there was no thermal reaction, so she realized it was something else. At the same time, Asuka's brainwaves became chaotic, and her mind began to be contaminated. Ritsuko suddenly realized that this was a psychological attack by the angel, and wondered if the angel could decipher human emotions. Asuka became nervous and tried to launch an attack on the angel, but it was out of range and had no effect only causing damage to the city. Currently, Asuka is suffering greatly, and the city has suffered significant damage from the indiscriminate shooting. Asuka's mental state has reached a critical point, and it is dangerous to continue. However, by then, Unit 00 was already preparing for an attack, and it becomes clear that Mizato ordered Asuka to sortie to lure the angel. The real attack was carried out by Unit 00, but it was unable to penetrate the 15th angels at field. At this point, Shinji demands to sortie, but Vice Commander Futsuki does not allow it. Such angels invade pilots' minds, 
so Unit 01 should not be interfered with. However, Asuka is facing a crisis of mental breakdown. Unable to do anything, Commander Akari sends Unit 00 to the final Dogma Zone to retrieve the Spear of Longinus. Apparently, this is the only way to annihilate the Angel. However, Mizato is worried that the contact between the EVA and Adam could trigger the third impact. But Commander Gendo Akari does not seem to be concerned about it. Suddenly, Mizato realizes that the second impact was caused by something other than contact with the Angels. Unit 00 arrives at the final Dogma Zone, and Mizato is now pondering the cause of the second impact. Even Vice Commander Futsuki feels that Commander Akari's actions are too hasty, but Commander Akari tells him that they cannot miss this opportunity because he knows that SEAL is mass-producing the EVA series. Commander Akari believes that they cannot turn back time, but they can move forward with their own power. However, this could intensify the conflict with SEAL, who are not sitting idle. Commander Akari believes that they must resolve the problem before SEAL takes action. Losing Unit 02 now would not be good for any RV. Unit 00 is already standing in front of the White Giant, and has drawn the Spear of Longinus. The moment the spear is drawn, the White Giant immediately grows legs. Unit 00 killed the 15th Angel with the Spear of Longinus, but due to inertia, the spear flew off into space and could not be recovered. After the death of Ryoji Kaji, Mizato Katsuragi often isolated herself in her room, while Asuka, whose self-esteem had been hurt again, stayed at the team leader's house and played games to pass the time. If you had friends who played games, you might be nostalgic for this, but Asuka was playing the most popular Sega Saturn at the time. Unfortunately, it lost to the Sony PS, but it's really nostalgic. Vice Commander Futsuki's concerns finally became a reality and Seal was very dissatisfied that they could not retrieve the Spear of Longinus. The number of EVA mass production series was still insufficient, and without the Longinus Spear, they could not complete the final ritual. After defeating the 14th Angel, Seal realized Gendo Akari's ambition, and all subsequent meetings were conducted by voice only. According to Gendo's explanation, destroying the Angels was their top priority, so they had to use the Longinus Spear. However, Seal could not tolerate Commander Akari's actions and saw him as an unbearable presence. But then, Futsuki received a call that an angel was attacking, and Gendo immediately interrupted the meeting. This action made Seal Chairman Peel feel that Gendo was betraying Seal. The 16th Angel, Armaseal, attacked, and Mizato could only adjust Units 00 and 02, but the activation right of Unit 01 belonged to Commander Akari. This angel was a ring of light, and they could finally see an angel with their naked eyes. Originally, Unit 02 was on standby, but Commander Akari decided to sortie Unit 02, which could at least be used as bait. Unable to analyze the 16th angel, they decided to wait, but suddenly, the angel attacked Unit 00, penetrated its at field, and they found that the attacks of Unit 00 had no effect. The angel that penetrated Unit 00 began to corrode the EVA and attempted to make contact with Unit 00. At this time, the synchronization rate between Unit 02 and Asuka dropped to single digits, and Asuka could not operate the EVA. The 16th angel was like a peeping tongue, trying to peek into the human mind. When they ran out of options, Commander Akari finally ordered Unit 01 to fight. As soon as Unit 01 sortie, it attracted the Angel's attention. The 16th Angel immediately attacked Unit 01 and began to interpret Shinji's desire to be with Rei, and prepared to convey this to Shinji. Unit 00 reversed its at field, trapping the 16th Angel inside the EVA and initiating a self-destruct sequence to eliminate the Angel. Rei did not want Shinji to know her inner thoughts. After a large search, Ray's plug was found, but Ritsuko destroyed related parts and retrieved the plug as the highest confidential matter.
Finally, they defeated the 16th angel, and according to Seal's Dead Sea Scrolls, only one angel remained, and the time of prophecy was approaching. This path is long, and sacrifices are great. With the loss of the Spear of Longinus and Unit 00, there is sufficient reason to dismiss Gendo Akari. Seal is now looking for new victims to fight against Gendo, and they must be individuals who cannot resist and know the inside story. Rei was created by Futsuki in despair, but she is still the hope of Gendo. Futsuki and Gendo cannot forget Yui. When Shinji learned that Rei was still alive, he was excited, but Rei seemed to have lost her memory. In fact, the previous Rei had already died, and the current Rei is the third clone. However, when Seal learned that Rei was still alive, they prepared to interrogate her. Commander Akari refused and instead sent Ritsuko to be interrogated by Seal. However, Ritsuko was eventually released. Seal believed that she was different from Futsuki and therefore releasing her was the best course of action. Seal currently owns eight mass-produced Evangelions, with four more under construction. Seal believes that destroying Tokyo 3 will greatly help advance their plans. The remaining EVAs are being constructed as quickly as possible and will be completed on the Day of Prophecy. At that time, Mizato received a capsule containing all the truths that Ryoji Kaji had investigated before his death. Ritsuko did not want to be used by Commander Akari and tried to tell Shinji the truth. She met Mizato, who had come to investigate the truth, and led her and Shinji to a confidential area, which resembled Rei's room. Ritsuko explained that this was where Rei was actually born and raised. She then took Mizato, who wanted to know the secrets of the EVAs, to another location. Ritsuko revealed to Shinji that her mother disappeared at a place called the Graveyard of Evangelions, and then showed him the Rei clone. It was then revealed that the suitable pilot for Unit 01 was actually the clone. Mizato quickly understood. She realized that these components were used in the simulation plug of the EVA. The Rei Ayanami in front of her was an empty shell and considered as a zero component. In fact, the second impact began when humans accidentally discovered God, but they tried to make it their own, and as a result, they received divine punishment 15 years ago, and the God they obtained disappeared. However, NERV was still trying to revive God. To do so, Adam appeared, and later, they were able to create human-like beings using Adam. That is the EVA. Therefore, the EVA does not have a soul and needs artificial injection of a soul. The zero in front of her, which was a soulless shell, was destroyed at the scene by Ritsuko. Ritsuko revealed that she was secretly in love with Commander Akari. She thought she could endure anything for him to be able to bear all the pain. However, she was shocked when he betrayed her, and she felt like she was betrayed like her mother. Of course, Mizato sympathized with Ritsuko and felt the same way. At this point, Asuka's synchronization rate had already dropped to zero, and she could no longer pilot the EVA. She lost her position as the second qualified pilot and felt like she had no reason to live anymore. Unexpectedly, a fifth qualified pilot, Peru Nagisa, arrived to replace Asuka. Misada felt that the timing was too coincidental. Of course, Ritsuko, who had destroyed the system, was interrogated by Commander Akari. Ritsuko claimed that she had only destroyed the Zero and not the system itself. She was not willing to accept being a replacement for the Zero. Gendo Akari was completely disappointed in Ritsuko and had her restrained. Shinji wanted to tell Asuka the truth, but did not know where she was and did not have the courage to face Rei Ayanami again. At that moment, he met Kairu Nagisa, who would replace Asuka as the fifth qualified pilot. Currently, Mizato is suspicious of the fifth qualified pilot and believes there is something going on behind the scenes. Additionally, information about Kairu Nagisa has not been disclosed, and all of her records have been deleted. Heiru Nagisa achieved remarkable results in the synchronization test, surprising even Futsuki. He was able to synchronize with the Unit 02 without exchanging the kernel. Heiru Nagisa was the first to meet Rei Ayanami. He told her that he and Rei were living in the shells of Lilin in this world. 
The news of Kaoru Nagisa's meeting with Rei had already reached Commander Akari, and Futsuki was using Mage to investigate Kaoru Nagisa's true identity. However, the results had not yet been revealed, and Kaoru Nagisa's true identity remained a mystery. In fact, Lilith is the ancestor of humanity and the inheritor of the throne from the Black Moon. Adam is the ancestor of the angels and the legitimate inheritor from the lost white moon. The souls to be saved are within Karu Nagisa's body, but the regenerated body belongs to Jendo Akari. Since Akari has betrayed them, Seal needs to rely on Karu Nagisa to turn the tide and reclaim NERV to prevent Akari from creating a new god. On the other hand, Jendo Akari is also preparing to fight Seal and is implanting the regenerated body, the embryo of Adam, into his palm. Time is running out, and once they defeat the final angel, they can execute their plan with Futsuki, and the Langley gun that prevents the plan from being executed will no longer exist. Then, Ritsuko revealed that Kairu Nagisa is the last messenger. However, at that moment, Unit 02 suddenly started up. This was the result of Kairu Nagisa consciously controlling the synchronization rate. Mizato quickly confirmed that Asuka was not piloting Unit 02, and there wasn't even an entry plug. While Mizato was still confused, they detected the at field of the 17th Angel, Tabri. This was the current Angel. However, from the images that were sent, it turned out that the 17th Angel, Tabri, was none other than Kairu Nagisa. This was an internal coup, where the 17th Angel took Unit 02 and headed towards the final doctrine. Despite Futsuki's orders to close all the explosion prevention doors, it was ineffective, and Seal sent the Angel directly. Jendo Akari said that they were being used to execute their plan first, and Seal explained that they would use Unit 01 to perform the ceremony as penance. Can Kairu Nagisa combine with the White Giant of the Final Doctrine? And what is the true purpose of Seal's attack on NERV and the truth about the White Giant? Please watch the next video. The Final Ceremony, The Human Complementation Project The next explanation will include the story of the theatrical version The End of Evangelion in addition to the TV version story. Thank you for your support. Note, please be aware that the English translation of this article contains some spoilers for the anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion.